so welcome back to another tutorial on flow 3d and in this tutorial i'll be um teaching you how to add manicure into your scene and also place your design on the manicure like your t-shirt you get so and also if you miss my tutorial on um um adding multiple character into your scene just click on the link at the um right hand corner there yeah, to watch the tutorial on how to add um multiple character into your scene with your design so now let's start here so i have like um some manicure in my project here um as you can see i have this one and i have this one so i can i can just pick any one so i'm adding like three manicure here but let me start with um this one here so and just try not to forget the measurement so that you will know where um your manicure is um so that you can place your clothes on top of the manicure at the um, right position on the manicure so this is manicure one here um let's see i want to put another one here so i'll put this i'll keep dragging and dropping then if you watch my video multiple character you always know that you must add and also adjust this measurement so i'll put this one by the left hand side so i'll just click on um um sorry at the right hand side is 0.5 um and we put this to um zero should i put 0 0.5 it's not necessary let me adjust it a bit let me add um 0. Point, sorry 0. 0.7 should do maybe a bit space so so this is it here we'll do the same thing here drag and drop it you click on hard then you have to change this to minus so that it will be at the right hand side so minus 0 0.7 so if you want to make a manicure or you want to um move a manicure front or back then you can touch the z as this by maybe putting um is there if you put 0 0.5 on the z axis then the manicure will be a bit to the front and if you put my notes 0 0.5 then the manicure will be a bit to the back but then if you if you watch my former tutorial on uh, my previous tutorial on um multiple character then you understand what i'm trying to um xc so this is my 0 0.7 and this is it um yeah so this is it here yeah, as you can see so let's go i'm going to my um project file to pick one of my design to place on the um manicure here so um let's project yes so let me place a t-shirt on the project so i'll be using this t-shirt on this um, project so now that we have a t-shirt if there's an avatar on the design you want to put what you just need to is to uncheck the avatar but since there's no avatar on this t-shirt then you can see just garment so don't forget to click on the hard uh we don't need this measurement first don't forget that the one on the left is 0 0.5 and the one on the right is minus 0 0.5 so if you want to place it all you just need to do is to put those figures there you get so it's very important but then there are situations that you might want to put an object like close to the ground maybe like cap or something like that um i think i will make a video i'll add it to this tutorial sorry so um let's see uh this should be zero yes and this should be let me start with the center zero so start with the center and click on OK. So you see, well, we have to simulate so that it can fall on the um, design. So uh, let me see. Yep. Uh, OK. So I'm going to do, let me add everything, then I'll simulate at once. So um, we'll do the same thing for this one here no uh, that's a no so um don't forget to click on hard then you can put um sorry 0 0.7 yeah so i click on okay then it will be one of the other side yes as you can see so if you remember the uh, figure you used to place the um design you used to place your manicure i said the manicure uh your manicure on the left or right axis then it will be easier it will be easier for you to um um add it directly you get but then you can always highlight it and always move your um your cursor around this so let's do the last one here 
Okay. I think we are adding this. Let me see. So this should be um minus zero point seven. So So that's it. Perfecto. So um then we can just simulate. So now that it has simulated, then you can decide on what you want to do with your t-shirt. Maybe put graphics on your t-shirt, you get, or change the color, probably your design or the brand you are designing for. They have different color of this particular t-shirt, blue, black. So let's just do one of those. <coughs> let me speak. Sorry, let me remove the simulation of so that can be faster so this can just go here and put maybe black for this and done then design two can just press here um i don't know yellow t-shirt done and maybe design three they have um it's really with white or let's make it ash so so this is it and the next thing you can do okay sorry yeah next thing um, let's just render it okay i said i want um a cap so um let me have this this small stand i have here where is my stage oh yeah this small art i want to be dragging it to the scene um adding this so no let me cancel first i don't get this let me add again no proceed yeah add so um i want to bring this to the front i'll put it at the center of the manicure so let me just place this as zero here then i should put this at um 0 0.5 i think 0 0.5 or let's say 0 0.7 you get so you can just play with the figure to your satisfaction so okay yeah is it too close oh yeah it's too close to the front can i move it to the uh well is a tutorial so let me just put something on top so yeah um this is what i'll do i want to put this cap on that um that's a cap stand that i just added in front so i know the cap stand is low but then this cap is on top so let me just add this cap and um since you're putting 0 0.7 there enter we just have to move the cap down to the um cap stand of the bucket out yeah exactly this is what i'm saying so situations like this you just have to move this down sorry on top of it so when we click on simulation it's going to fall on the cap and um we're good to go so uh let us simulate you can click on your space bar i think you should have fallen you might not even want to simulate so that it won't give you a rough texture but then depending on your um choice you might just leave it like this to look um fit and stand you get showing the angles and the shape properly so I think it has it simulated. I'm not sure. Let me check. I think it has simulated. It has not simulated. I think it has simulated. It looks like it's pointed. But then you're you can you can decide on the way you want to do. So I'll just cancel this simulation. Yeah, I'll cancel this and um, leave the cap like this. And let's go to render. Yeah, we can add the stage too. That's also important. Okay. I don't know why this is doing like this. Okay. No. Yeah, proceed. And what it is to add. Let's just leave it as zero and enter. Mm. 
what is this did i forget to press something okay, let's just move it to the back yeah so you can decide on the color of the stage you want to put your design or when you click on the stage you can always play with the properties here but then i'm going to render not to waste much of our time so let me you know, like this yeah so anyway my laptop is quite noisy i'm sure probably you can hear it in the background so um render and render Oof. oh yeah my previous tutorial okay so this is it this is a high quality picture but then let me just reduce it lower make it lower and wider i think 1080 by 1080 should fit into screen or some wider pixel again so this is in inches we'll go back and change to um okay well nope for me so we'll do um 1080 by 1080 yeah yeah so we can zoom closer and better i think should i have changed the background but then i think lightning will do the best of it yeah so okay Okay, yeah, let's go to the lightning ASAP. So, you can pick your favorite lightning here. Yes, there are a lot of lightning from Pro 3D. You can pick any one you want, but then I'm going back to pick my checkboard house. Mm, I don't know, I like the lightning so much. So, uh, okay, so this is the checkboard house lightning. So this is just how to add multiple manicure in this tutorial so stay tuned again for more tutorial because i'll be dropping more and also you can get this uh, manicure in my uh, description box i'll be posting the link so i can download it on gumroad for free too yeah so stay tuned for more tutorial thank you